Hey everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Ankit Math Magics and this YouTube channel is all about the preparation for the GMAT exam, the SAT exam and the GRE exam. So in this question we will be solving a really interesting exponential problem which might be asked in the GMAT, SAT and the GRE exams in the coming year or is this year as well. So if you are a student who is highly interested in getting admissions to some of the premier universities across the world like Oxford and Harvard and Cambridge, then these kind of problems are the ones that you should be looking for. So let us start the solution but before that don't forget to subscribe this channel and share this video with your friends if you really like it. So since this is a problem from the exponential algebra, let me write the properties first that we might use in this kind of questions. So the very first property is that if we have p raised to the power of q plus r then this can be written as p raised to the power q multiplied by p raised to the power r. This is the first property that we will be using. The second property is that if we have a number p which is raised to the power of q minus r then this can be written as p raised to the power q divided by p raised to the power r. So that means whenever the powers are added, they can be expanded in the product form and whenever the powers are subtracted, it results in the division of the number with uh, the base keeping a uh, base being the same. The third property that we would be using in this one is that if we have a p raised to the power q kind of a number and then if we have a further power r attached to it, then this can be written as p raised to the power q multiplied by r. So these are the three properties that we will be using in this question. It's a highly interesting exponential question but uh, the thing that you have to keep in mind is just try to solve it individually. So let us focus on this part alone here. So here we have x raised to the power a divided by x raised to the power b whole raised to the power of a plus b. So as you can see in this property whenever the division sign is there it follows by uh, it, it is followed by the subtraction of the powers. So I can write this as x raised to the power of a minus b and we have an a plus b as well so I'll write a plus b right here. Now as you can see in this property whenever the powers are separated by a bracket then these powers can be multiplied so that means this would be a minus b multiplied by a plus b which is a square minus of b square. So this is a standard formula of a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So let's similarly solve the second and the third part of the question. So this would be x raised to the power b divided by x raised to the power c whole power of b plus c. So this would be x raised to the power b minus c multiplied by b plus c which again will use the identity of a square minus b square that is b minus c into b plus c that would this would be b square minus of c square. And in the last part we have x raised to the power c divided by x raised to the power of a whole divided by c plus a. So this would be c minus a whole divided by c plus a which is c square minus of a square. Now since in the original question all the three numbers are multiplied so that means these three answers will also be multiplied. So this would be x raised to the power of a square minus b square multiplied by x raised to the power b square minus c square multiplied by x raised to the power c square minus of a square. And we know the property that whenever the three exponential powers are multiplied and if the base is same the powers will get added. So let us quickly add the powers so this would be x raised to the power a square minus b square plus b square minus c square plus c square minus of a square. And as you can see that all the powers would be cancelled out because they have their complementary number right just adjacent to them. So all we are left with x raised to the power 0 and any number raised to the power 0 generates the answer as 1. So that means this is the final answer to this particular problem. I hope that this video was interesting enough and informative enough and for more such videos on the preparation for the GMAT, SAT and the GRE exam that is uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel where GMAT stands for graduate management aptitude test SAT stands for scholastic aptitude test and GRE stands for I don't know what <laughs> but it's an important examination thank you so much for watching